Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski and welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today's movie is Sam Peckinpah's 1972 crime classic, The Getaway, written by Walter Hill and starring Steve McQueen and Ally McGraw. Carter McCoy, one to ten years sentence for armed robbery. First offense in the state of Texas. Wanted by the state of Ohio for assault with a deadly weapon and armed robbery. What ho! The trailer opens with a large chunk of the beginning of the film, a beautifully constructed sequence edited by Robert Wolfe and Roger Spottiswood, with McQueen in jail that really captures the frustration and boredom of prison life. This is one of my favorite films. Peckinpah was on quite a roll at this time. He's making masterpiece after masterpiece, Ride the High Country, The Wild Bunch, Straw Dogs, Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, but he was a big drinker and always butted heads with whatever studio he was working for. The Getaway was probably his most blatantly commercial film, but even here they made him fire original composer Jerry Fielding and replace him with Quincy Jones. Jones' score, though, is quite lovely. It's one of his best. It was nominated for a Golden Globe and features a great harmonica by Toots Thielsman. Um, strangely, though, Fielding's unused score is available on CD, but Quincy Jones is not. It's odd. This movie started out as a Peter Bogdanovich film. Wow, what a different movie that would have been. Bogdanovich's wife, Polly Platt, had read and liked Walter Hill's screenplay for Hickey and Boggs and hired him to replace Jim Thompson, the hard-boiled writer of the original novel. I'm sorry I was late. I was having my hair done and the girl was slow. You look fine. Where do you want to go? Straight ahead! <laughs> Hang it round, folks! Bogdanovich left the project in a dispute over casting. He was falling in love with Sybil Shepard and wanted her instead of Ollie McGraw. So he leaves, his marriage falls apart, and McQueen brings in Peckinpah, who had just worked with him on Junior Bonner. But then, amazingly enough, this film breaks up another famous Hollywood marriage. McGraw is married to legendary studio head Robert Evans, but he's off making The Godfather and she's falling madly in love with McQueen. It was a big scandal at the time. McGraw was the number one box office actress in the world in the early 70s, coming off of Love Story. She's a limited performer, but I have a great deal of affection for her. She does her finest work here. The chemistry with McQueen is really solid. A lot of their scenes are silent, and you can feel the attraction. I wish they did more films together. Their names look great on the poster. McQueen, McGraw. It's that uh, double Mac sound with the big hard capital letter in the middle. Got to you. Maybe. At least I got to him. The Getaway has a disturbing supporting cast. Al LaTerry from The Godfather plays one of the slimiest villains in screen history. Sally Struthers from All in the Family plays a wife who gets kidnapped and starts getting it on with her captor, much to the displeasure of her husband played by Jack Dotson, kind of uh, like the Stockholm Syndrome. Their scenes are very unpleasant, with Struthers bouncing on LaTerry's lap and giggling. You almost feel relieved when her husband commits suicide. Peckinpah brings in a lot of the cast from uh, The Wild Bunch into this film. Ben Johnson, Dub Taylor, Bo Hopkins. It's a grisly group of men, and I haven't even mentioned Slim Pickens is in it. The movie was remade in the 1990s with yet another troubled celebrity couple, Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger. I think the lesson is, if you're happily married, stay the heck away from the getaway. You hear that, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt? Now, the remake's not bad, it's kind of sexy. It's actually really similar, so much so that Walter Hill still gets screenplay credit. The material is strong, but the remake wasn't really a hit. The universe had changed from the 1970s to the 1990s, and the morally complex, unsavory characters that populate the world of Peckinpah and Thompson and Hill were no longer mainstream. So if you're going to watch it, make sure you check out the original. There's a new, beautiful Blu-ray disc that does a good job capturing the magnificent lyrical photography by Lucian Ballard. It has some great extra features. It's probably my favorite Steve McQueen film. I'll be killed for saying this, but Bullet is just a little slow for me. But The Getaway Kicks Ass, it's truly a great film. 